The United Nations system consists of the United Nations, and the six principal organs of the United Nations, the General Assembly, Security Council, Economic and Social Council ECOSOC, Trusteeship Council, International Court of Justice ICJ, and the UN Secretariat, specialized agencies, and affiliated organizations. The executive heads of some of the United Nations System Organizations and the World Trade Organization, which is not formally part of the United Nations System, have seats on the United Nations System Chief Executives Board for Coordination This body, chaired by the Secretary General of the United Nations, meets twice a year to co-ordinate the work of the organizations of the United Nations System. The United Nations system includes the United Nations and its subsidiary bodies such as the separately administered funds and programs, research and training institutes, and other subsidiary entities, specialized agencies, and affiliated organizations. Some of the organizations of the United Nations system predate the founding of the United Nations in 1945 and were inherited after the dissolution of the League of Nations. Topic. Six principal organs of the UN The principal organ of the UN system is the United Nations itself. It consists of the six principal organs established by the Charter of the United Nations. Topic. General Assembly The United Nations General Assembly consists of all United Nations member states and meets in regular session once a year under a president elected from among the representatives. Its powers are to oversee the budget of the United Nations, appoint the non-permanent members to the Security Council, receive reports from other parts of the United Nations and make recommendations in the form of General Assembly resolutions. It has also established a wide number of subsidiary organs. Topic: Security Council. The United Nations Security Council (UNSC) is charged with the maintenance of international peace and security. Its powers, outlined in the United Nations Charter, include the establishment of peacekeeping operations, the establishment of international sanctions, and the authorization of military action. Its powers are exercised through United Nations Security Council resolutions. The Security Council held its first ever session on 17 January 1946 at Church House, Westminster, London. Since its first meeting, the Council, which exists in continuous session, has traveled widely, holding meetings in many cities, such as Paris and Addis Ababa, as well as at its current permanent home at the United Nations headquarters in New York City. There are 15 members of the Security Council, consisting of five veto-wielding permanent members China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States and ten elected non-permanent members with two-year terms. This basic structure is set out in Chapter 5 of the UN Charter. Security Council members must always be present at UN headquarters in New York so that the Security Council can meet at any time. Topic. Economic and Social Council The United Nations Economic and Social Council is responsible for coordinating the economic, social and related work of 15 UN specialized agencies, their functional commissions and five regional commissions. ECOSOC has 54 members, it holds a four-week session each year in July. Since 1998, it has also held a meeting each April with finance ministers heading key committees of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund IMF. 
The ECOSOC serves as the central forum for discussing international economic and social issues, and for formulating policy recommendations addressed to member states and the United Nations system. Secretariat The United Nations Secretariat is headed by the United Nations Secretary General, assisted by a staff of international civil servants worldwide. It provides studies, information, and facilities needed by United Nations bodies for their meetings. It also carries out tasks as directed by the UN Security Council, the UN General Assembly, the UN Economic and Social Council, and other UN bodies. The United Nations Charter provides that the staff to be chosen by application of the highest standards of efficiency, competence, and integrity, with due regard for the importance of recruiting on a wide geographical basis. The Charter provides that the staff shall not seek or receive instructions from any authority other than the UN. Each UN member country is enjoined to respect the international character of the Secretariat and not seek to influence its staff. The Secretary-General alone is responsible for staff selection. Topic. International Court of Justice The International Court of Justice is the primary judicial organ of the United Nations. It is based in the Peace Palace in The Hague, Netherlands. Its main functions are to settle legal disputes submitted to it by states and to provide advisory opinions on legal questions submitted to it by duly authorized international organs, agencies, and the UN General Assembly. Topic. Trusteeship Council The United Nations Trusteeship Council, one of the principal organs of the United Nations, was established to help ensure that trust territories were administered in the best interests of their inhabitants and of international peace and security. The trust territories, most of them are former mandates of the League of Nations or territories taken from nations defeated at the end of World War II, have all now attained self-government or independence, either as separate nations or by joining neighboring independent countries. The last was Palau, formerly part of the Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands, which became a member state of the United Nations in December 1994. Topic. Funds and programs, research and training institutes, and other bodies The separately administered funds and programs, research and training institutes, and other subsidiary bodies are autonomous subsidiary organs of the United Nations. Topic. Funds and programs Throughout its history the United Nations General Assembly has established a number of programs and funds to address particular humanitarian and development concerns. These bodies usually report to the General Assembly through an executive board. Only one UN program has ever closed in the history of the organization, the United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Administration UNRRA, which ceased to exist in 1959 and was subsequently replaced by the UNHCR. Each of the funds and programs is headed by an executive director at the Undersecretary General level and is governed by an executive board. One former fund, the United Nations Development Fund for Women UNIFEM, was merged with other elements of the United Nations system into a new organization, UN Women, in January 2011. International Trade Center ITC. Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees HCR. Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights OHCHR. United Nations Children's Fund UNICEF. 
United Nations Conference on Trade and Development UNCTAD. United Nations Development Programme UNDP. United Nations Capital Development Fund UNCDF. United Nations Volunteers UNV. United Nations Environment Programme UNIP. United Nations Human Settlements Program UN Habitat United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime UNODC United Nations Population Fund UNFPA United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East UNRWA World Food Program WFP Topic. Research and training institutes The various research and training institutes were established by the General Assembly to perform independent research and training. One former institute, the International Research and Training Institute for the Advancement of Women was merged with other elements of the United Nations system into a new organization, UN Women, in January 2011. United Nations Institute for Disarmament Research UNIDIR. United Nations Institute for Training and Research UNITAR. United Nations Interregional Crime and Justice Research Institute UNICRI. United Nations Research Institute for Social Development UNRISD. Topic. Secretariats of Conventions Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities UNCCD, United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNCLOS, United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea Established Bodies ESA, International Seabed Authority ITLOS, International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea Topic. Other entities Joint United Nations Programme on HIV, AIDS UNAIDS. United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Reduction UNISDR. United Nations Office for Project Services UNOPS. United Nations Office of Internal Oversight Services UNOIOS. United Nations System Staff College UNSSC United Nations University UNU Topic Specialized Agencies The specialized agencies are autonomous organizations working with the United Nations and each other through the coordinating machinery of the Economic and Social Council. Each was integrated into the UN system by way of an agreement with the UN under UN Charter Article 57. Food and Agriculture Organization FAO. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. International Fund for Agricultural Development IFAD. International Labor Organization ILO. International Maritime Organization IMO. International Monetary Fund IMF. International Telecommunication Union ITU. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO. United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO. Universal Postal Union UPU. World Bank Group International Bank for Reconstruction and Development IBRD. International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes ICSID. International Development Association IDA. International Finance Corporation IFC. 
Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency MIGA, World Health Organization WHO, World Intellectual Property Organization WIPO, World Meteorological Organization WMO, World Tourism Organization UNWTO, International Refugee Organization IRO, ceased to exist in 1952. Topic. Related organizations Some organizations have a relationship with the UN defined by an arrangement different from the agreements between the specialized agencies and the UN, which are established under Articles 57 and 63 of the United Nations Charter. Topic. International Organization for Migration IOM. The IOM, established in 1951, is the leading intergovernmental organization in the field of migration and works closely with governmental, intergovernmental and non-governmental partners. IOM works to help ensure the orderly and humane management of migration, to promote international cooperation on migration issues, to assist in the search for practical solutions to migration problems and to provide humanitarian assistance to migrants in need, including refugees and internally displaced people. In September 2016, IOM joined the United Nations system as a related organization during the United Nations General Assembly high-level summit to address large movements of refugees and migrants. Topic: <laughs> Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization Preparatory Commission (CTBTO Prepcom). The CTBTO PREPCOM reports directly to the UN General Assembly. Topic: International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA. The relationship between the IAEA and the UN was established by a resolution of the UN General Assembly. Unlike the specialized agencies which report to ECOSOC, the IAEA reports directly to the General Assembly as well as the Security Council and ECOSOC. Like the other specialized agencies' heads, their executives are part of the United Nations System Chief Executives Board for Coordination CEB. Topic. Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW. The OPCW is not an agency of the United Nations, but cooperates both on policy and practical issues. On 7 September 2000 the OPCW and the United Nations signed a cooperation agreement outlining how they were to coordinate their activities. Under this agreement, the OPCW reports to the UN General Assembly. Topic: World Trade Organization (WTO). The WTO does not have a formal agreement with the UN. Instead, their relationship is governed by exchanges of letters. Unlike the specialized agencies and the IAEA, the WTO has no reporting obligations towards any of the principal organs of the UN, but provides ad hoc contribution to the work of the General Assembly and ECOSOC. The WTO has a seat on the CEB. Topic: <laughs> Chief Executives Board and Senior Management Group. The United Nations Chief Executives Board for Coordination CEB, brings together on a regular basis the executive heads of the organizations of the United Nations system, under the chairmanship of the Secretary-General of the UN. 
The CEB aims to further coordination and cooperation on a whole range of substantive and management issues facing UN system organizations. In addition to its regular reviews of contemporary political issues and major concerns facing the UN system, the CEB approves policy statements on behalf of the UN system as a whole. Three committees report to the CEB, namely the High Level Committee on Program HCLP, the High Level Committee on Management HCLM, and the United Nations Development Group UNDG. Each of those bodies has, in turn, developed a subsidiary machinery of regular and ad hoc bodies on the substantive and managerial aspects of inter-agency coordination. The committee structure is supported by a CEB secretariat located in New York and Geneva. There is also a senior management group, composed of some of the senior officials in the secretariat and the funds and programs at the Undersecretary General and Assistant Secretary General rank, which serves as the cabinet of the Secretary General. Topic. United Nations Common System The United Nations, its subsidiary bodies, 13 of the specialized agencies ILO, FAO, UNESCO, WHO, ICAO, UPU, ITU, WMO, EMO, WIPO, IFAD, UNDIO, and UNWTO, and one related body IAEA are part of the United Nations Common System of Salaries, Allowances, and Benefits administered by the International Civil Service. Service Commission. Most, but not all, of the members of the United Nations system are part of the common system. The Bretton Woods institutions, i.e., the World Bank Group and the IMF, are notable exceptions. The WTO utilizes the OECD common system. The UN Common System was established to prevent competition amongst organizations of the United Nations System for Staff and to facilitate cooperation and exchange between organizations. Some international organizations that are not part of the United Nations System and therefore not members of the Common System but who voluntarily follow the policies of the Common System in whole or in part include Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSCE Organization of American States OS Topic See also Outline of the United Nations List of United Nations organizations by location United Nations member states League of Nations for a rudimentary model on which the UN system is based. Vienna Formula